Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you 10 essential Zoom shortcuts in Logic Pro that will help speed up your workflow. So I'm gonna show you just about every way you can Zoom in Logic Pro, and technically there are way more than just 10 shortcuts in this video, but I'm sort of grouping these into 10 groups of shortcuts that are related functions. So let's get right into this. Now, most people are familiar with the vertical and horizontal zoom sliders here. And the first shortcut is just a simple zoom shortcut to control these. So you can use command up and down to zoom vertically and command left and right, these are the arrow keys, for horizontal zoom. Now, most even beginner logic users already know those shortcuts, but I wanted to get those out of the way first just as a baseline. Now, just to the left of the zoom sliders, there's a vertical auto zoom function and a horizontal auto zoom function. Now you can click on these here to turn on these functions, but if you want, there's actually a key command available for both of these. If you just go into your key commands and you search up zoom, you'll see there are two available shortcuts here for toggle horizontal auto zoom and toggle vertical auto zoom. They don't have shortcuts assigned to them, so you can actually you know, create your own custom key command out of these if that's something you'd like to do. However, this next shortcut sort of makes these useless because one thing I like to do is you can click on the background and then you know, you're know you just clicking on the background to deselect everything and then press Z. And what this will do is it will zoom everything to fit the window. Technically, this key command is called toggle zoom to fit selection or all contents. So if you're really zoomed in like this, you can just click on the background to deselect everything and then press Z to zoom to fit everything in the window. Now, this also works with a selection. So if I say select these regions here and then press Z, this will zoom in. If I press Z again, it'll zoom back out. If I make a selection here, I can zoom in on those regions just by pressing Z and then press Z again to toggle back out. So that's probably my favorite zoom shortcut in Logic Pro, toggle zoom to fit selection or all contents. Now, if you prefer using your mouse to zoom in, you can also just hold option to pull up the zoom tool. You can drag over an area It'll zoom in on that area and then just hold option and click again to zoom back out. Again, I could use that same key command, just holding option and dragging over with the zoom tool to zoom in and then click again while holding option to zoom back out. So that's the zoom tool. You can also press T to pull up your tool menu and then press Y to select the zoom tool, drag over something, press T again, and then go back to the pointer tool. However, I don't really like using the actual zoom tool. I feel like it's kind of a waste of time, but I figured I'd throw that in there for anyone who likes to use the zoom tool. This next one is called toggle zoom focused track or row. So what this does is it sort of auto zooms whatever selected track uh, you have selected. So if you select a track and then press control Z, this will toggle the zoom for that track. If I press control Z again, it'll bring it back down. I can move to another track, control Z to zoom in, control Z to zoom back out. Now this also works for rows in the step sequencer. For example, if I open up one of my pattern regions here, if I select a row and then press control Z, this will actually zoom that selected row. If I go down to another row, it zooms that row. And that's the way it works in the tracks area too. So if I zoom in on a track and then select another track, it will auto zoom whatever track I have selected. So this is actually pretty helpful if you want to keep everything zoomed out, but you just wanna focus in on certain tracks for editing or recording. Number five is individual track zoom. So you can select an individual track and you can press control option command and then press up or down to zoom in on a track or zoom out on a track. However, most people know that you can just use your mouse and grab the joining point between two tracks and just do something like this. So that's there if you prefer using the keyboard over using the mouse. But what's actually faster is to toggle the individual track zoom by pressing Control Option Command Z. So if I just make a track selection and press Control Option Command Z, 
this will toggle the zoom on that track. Now it remembers the zoom for the track. So if it's more zoomed out like this, I can toggle between those two zoom states, zoomed out and then zoomed in. But what I find really helpful about this feature is you can actually select multiple tracks and press Control Option Command Z and you can zoom in on multiple tracks. So let's say if I just want to work on my vocals here, I can select those, Control Option Command Z, zoom up just my vocal tracks. When I'm ready to take it back, I just use the same shortcut to go back to a zoomed out perspective. So that's individual track zoom and toggle individual track zoom. And if you don't know this already, another quick little shortcut here is if you have a bunch of tracks all at different zoom levels, if you hover your mouse in between the joining point between two tracks and hold shift and then click, this will reset all of the track zooms back to their starting value. Next up, let's talk about waveform zoom. So let's say that you want to zoom in the waveform of an audio region, not necessarily zoom in the tracks area, but the actual waveform audio. There is an option for this here. You can click on this to toggle between a higher and lower state of waveform zoom. You can also click and hold, and then you can drag up or down to zoom the waveform. Now this has nothing to do with the region gain. It does nothing to the gain of the audio whatsoever. It's simply a zoom function. But there is a shortcut for this as well. But there is a shortcut for this as well, but it's applied to all regions in your project. So it's not just the selected regions. But if you hold Command and then press the equal sign, it will zoom up the audio waveform. And if you press the minus sign right next to it, it will zoom down. So command equal sign and minus sign to zoom the waveform of audio regions. Now earlier I said you can click right here to toggle between two different zoom states for the waveform zoom. You can actually learn this as a key command as well. If you go up to Logic Pro, key commands, edit, and then just search up waveform, you'll see there is an available key command here, toggle waveform vertical zoom, that's empty, so you can assign a custom shortcut to that if that's a function you find yourself using a lot. This next one allows you to zoom the actual Logic app window, and to demonstrate this, I'm gonna have to go full screen here, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out at this point. You're gonna see my notes over here, but that's totally fine, I'll just minimize those to get those out of the way. But if you select your Logic Pro window and you want to zoom it to fit the entire screen, you can press Control Command M and that will zoom Logic's window to fit the entire screen. Likewise, I can press that again to bring it back to its original size. Logic has what I like to call zoom presets. I'm not really sure what the technical term for these are, but there are three of these. And what these do is they allow you to save the amount of horizontal and vertical zoom. They essentially save the zoom state. They don't zoom in to a specific area, so they're not a navigational tool, but they allow you to save, you know, three different zoom levels. Now, the shortcuts for these are Control Option Shift Command 1, 2, or 3 to set the zoom presets. So let's say that I want a zoom preset where I can see the entire verse of my song here. And I'll store this as a zoom preset by pressing Control Option Shift Command 1. And then let's say I want another one where I'm a bit more zoomed out like that. I can see two eight bar sections. I'll press Control Option Shift Command 2. And then I'll zoom out one more time. But let's actually, let's zoom in vertically too because this does save your vertical state as well. Something like that maybe. Control Option Shift Command 3. So I've saved my three zoom presets. Now to recall these zoom presets, you press Control Option Command 1, 2, or 3. So Control Option Command 1 takes me back to just seeing the whole first verse. Control Option Command 2. Now I can see two sections. Control Option Command 3. I'm zoomed in even more. And like I said, these are not navigation shortcuts. So they all depend on where you're at in your project. So if I'm over here in my chorus, I can recall zoom preset one, zoom preset two, zoom preset three. This next one is called zoom to fit locators. 
So if I make a locator selection here, maybe on my chorus section here, I can press Control Shift Z. And what this does is it horizontally zooms to fit that locator selection. But what it also does is it saves a navigation snapshot. Now, I don't really use navigation snapshots very often, uh, but you can use them in conjunction with this zoom function. So I just saved one there by zooming in on the chorus. Maybe let's go over to the bridge section and I'll do shift control Z. So I've zoomed in and saved another snapshot location. Let's do another one for the final chorus. Bring that in a bit. Shift control Z. And then I'll do one more over here. We'll say on this pre-chorus. Actually, let's do the verse in pre-chorus. Shift control Z. Now there's no real way to adjust the navigation snapshots without just closing Logic Pro and reopening it. That will reset all of your navigation snapshots. But you can toggle between your navigation snapshots by pressing Option Z to move forward through your navigation snapshots. And then you can hold Shift Option Z to move backward through your navigation snapshots. And you can see I have a few more than just the ones I created earlier. I don't really use these very often, but I do use the zoom to fit the locator selection, which is pretty handy. And like I said, those navigation snapshots will reset themselves when you close out Logic Pro and reopen it again. This next one has to do with live loops. When you're working in live loops, most of your zoom shortcuts are gonna work over here. As long as the window is in focus, you can see this little blue line around the window. So if I press Command up or down, this allows me to zoom vertically. Command left and right lets me zoom horizontally. I can even click on the background and press Z to you know zoom everything to fit the window. But one of the things you'll notice is when you zoom vertically, you might just zoom vertically, and in other situations, you might also zoom horizontally. This is due to a shortcut called Toggle Grid Horizontal Zoom in Live Loops. The shortcut for this is Control Option Z, and all this does is it toggles the horizontal zoom in Live Loops. So now that I've used the shortcut, if I press Command up and down, you'll see it both zooms vertically and horizontally. But if I press Control Option Z again, it toggles this off. And now if I press Command up or down, it only zooms vertical. So that's a way to sort of disconnect the vertical and horizontal zoom in live loops if you use it. Now, one last one I'm going to show you that's more of a really just a bonus is in Sampler. If you're working in Sampler, and you work in the zone editor down here. There are two zoom shortcuts right here, one to toggle a vertical zoom and one to toggle a horizontal zoom. There are shortcuts for these as well, and they are Control Option Shift Z. This will toggle the vertical zoom, and then you have Control Option Z, which will toggle your horizontal zoom. So that's just a little bonus there for anyone who likes to work in Sampler. Okay, so that wraps up the video. Those are 10 essential zoom shortcuts in Logic Pro that will help to speed up your workflow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thanks for the support and thanks for watching.